Tell about your projects. We had several projects connected with exoskeletons. We started with basics with nuts and bolts. First models were Mark 1 and Mark 2. Mark 1 had the trivial third arm for carrying machine gun and it was semi active. And Mark II is a completely passive model that was used to test ergonomics and positions of drives on the body. Mark I, as the very first model, was too far from perfect if we talk about ergonomics. Here we must say that Mark II was designed specially for our second project, Stalker series. Then we made Mark III and Mark IV. Mark III was designed as a test model of armored capsule and also used in filming. We used it as a test model of heavy exoskeletons. Mark IV was our first model with active drives. Thanks to it we tested pneumatic drives with taking pressure from compressor and through receiver and with accumulator. Mark III was too heavy and wasn't able to get system of active drives. The control system was just an idea and there wasn't any system of drives, so it wouldn't be reasonable. That's why we tested this system on Mark IV and then we transferred it on Mark III. That's right. We made Mark III for our Stalker series, and it was based on a power armor from Fallout. It was our first experience of designing heavy exoskeletons with covering with prolonged arms and legs. Prolonged means that at the place of hand there was a manipulator, which was controlled by operator. Then we made Mark V and Mark VI. Both models were a custom job. Mark V was considered to be a light exoskeleton that could be folded and become a size of a luggage. It had modernized third arm to carry a machine gun. And besides, it was designed for both right and left-handed people. The features of it were small weight and high mobility. Its carrying capacity was about 30 kilograms. Mark VI was also a custom job. It was a shield barrier made by carrying an assault shield weighing 45 kilograms. On the legs it had fastens for adding extra soft armored plates. At the fourth scientific conference in Air Military Innovative Technopolis, we showed Mark V with integrated armor vest and machine gun. The main issue of the conference was robotic automation of the armored forces of Russian Federation. And if you have an opportunity to watch Russian news, you'll see our Mark V in them. We also designed Mark VII. It's an active exoskeleton. Unfortunately, we still cannot tell anything about it because it's project classified by Ministry of Defense. Now we are designing Mark VIII and or Mark IX. We haven't decided which model will make in metal. They are quite similar. It will be an exoskeleton integrated into outfit. Maybe it'll have active system and most likely on the base of IC. Moreover, we are planning to test a new shock absorbing system. On the basis of Mark IV, we designed Mark IV M. It's an uprated active platform for testing of covering with armored place. It's extension of our works on power armor and armored capsule. So our experience led us to conclusion that we made too many mistakes in Mark III in the very beginning. It was too long and unreasonably to correct them, so we decided to design totally new exoskeleton with external casing and system of active drives. It was much easier to make it from the scratch rather than remake Mark III. Not really from the scratch, Mark IV became the basis, but we hadn't left anything from it. That's why we can talk about separate models. What's your aim? We haven't any aim or goal. We just like it. You can call it hobby. But our hobby is growing into career and business. We are being invited on different conferences or interviews like yours, and we love it. And it's also a good experience. 
These technologies can be hardly seen yet, and almost no one does such things. And it is a possibility to try things out. What have you learned while working on your projects? I think this list can't be held in five minutes. What have we learned? We better understood human biomechanics. And now we know principles of exoskeleton systems much better. You know, classic schemes from sci-fi books, games and films don't work. Reality is too different from what we usually see in films and games. And if you want to make something similar, you should correct the construction all the time. For me, as for engineer, experience is huge. I've started to use some tools and instruments that I didn't use before. I've learned how to design control systems for exoskeletons, how to use different drives. We've learned their advantages and disadvantages. We are sure that time and money weren't wasted. Everything gives us experience and knowledge, even if the result isn't very good. A next model is always better than previous one. We can even come up with such a law that exoskeleton outlives when you stop working on the new one. Perfection knows no limits. What inspired you? As we said before, we were inspired by films, games and books. Actually, we can be called sci-fi fans, even nerds. Since childhood we've been reading sci-fi books, watching films, and we loved it. And why won't we try to make it all come true? We are trying to develop this field because we at least know something about it. We started to make Mark I when we faced with bitter experience of carrying machine gun during filming. It was too hard to run with it. So we decided to make a real exoskeleton to save us trouble. And also it would be a nice stage props. And as the result we started making quite good exoskeletons. And as the result, we started making quite good exoskeletons, though we started with just some sage props. I'm often inspired by challenge. I like doing something new. I don't know if it's a good trait or not. But for me, as for engineer, it's important. Mission must be almost impossible to be interesting and exciting. I like when people watch our videos and get inspired and start designing and constructing too. The world is almost completely consist of people who just consumer. Almost no one wants study or create something. And I really enjoy when people start develop themselves after our videos. There are some examples of such situations and each of them gave me great happiness. I can't say that everyone is coach potato. Lots of people want, but they don't have any resources, knowledge, anything else. I think knowledge is the most necessary part, the most essential. Knowledge is just a matter of time. When you start doing something, you develop and get the essential knowledge. In case of exoskeletons, while you don't start making them, you won't learn how to make them. Nobody will teach you. You can get this knowledge only with experience. And in our country the situation isn't very good. There are lots of guys. Can I say so? For me, there are lots of them. And if there's even the small group of people who develop in this sphere, it's great. More important that such groups are starting up in different countries. And we'd like to join all the enthusiasts in this sphere. There are United Makers Association and Examec. We believe we can develop only together. And we were really happy to tell you about our project. Thanks a lot for this opportunity. We really appreciate it. And now we are saying goodbye as we usually do in our videos. There are a lot of interesting things ahead.